Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about hoop netting for lobsters, this little series we're doing to help educate you on the gear you need to catch lobsters and the gear you need to take out there with you to use the hoop nets correctly to have a chance of catching some lobsters with the hoop nets. And standing with me is Steve from Promar. Hey Steve. Hey Dan. Thanks for being back. So what do you have here for us? So today I'm going to be showing you guys the different styles of bait cages that Promar offers. We have your typical wire bait cage. This is what a lot of people are using just because mm -hmm. it's an economical way to go when you're shopping for bait cages. But we also have the seal proof bait cage. And us as fishermen, I mean, seal, seeing seals around, that's our worst nightmare. You know, you lose fish, you lose lobster. And so we developed something um, that kind of deters them when they're in the area of your hoop nets. This will actually prevent from seals getting into your bait and scaring away any of the lobster that may be in your net already or around in the area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I strongly suggest that you guys use these just because you never know when there's going to be a seal around. You, you don't want to lose any lobster. I mean, you spend so much money to go out on the water and get mm -hmm. some lobster, and the last thing you need is a seal around stealing all those lobsters from you. Yeah, if you are going to use these metal cages, the trick we've learned over the years is this little strap here does nothing to the seals. Right. The seals will just open up that door and they're going to get your salmon heads or your muscle or whatever you have in here, mackerel, they're going to take it all. So a good trick to learn is use zip ties. So take a zip tie and still use this and even though it's not going to do much, but use that. And then take a zip tie and come back a couple of holes and then use a zip tie and just slide it on there and seal it. Now, what we normally do on ours is we'll put three or four of these on there and we won't make it really tight tight, but we'll, so it's easy to cut off, but we will kind of get it on there. And that way, if a seal comes around, he's not going to be able to just open his mouth and steal all our bait. Right. So it's really important that you do this. Um, you can get away from that using this product here, but if you want the bigger openings, you think that you're superstitious that this is going to work better for you, make sure you put the zip ties on there. You can cut these off if you want. It doesn't matter. Lobsters don't care. But um, we use the same zip ties when we connect the hoop cages to the bottom of our hoop net. Right. So another great thing about these is that they're small enough so that you can use the large Ziploc bags. Mm -hmm. You pre-pack them at home, you get them in the freezer, you put them in your Ziploc bags, and by the time you're on the boat, they're ready to go. All you have to do is clip them in. The last thing you want to do is have to sit there and prepare your bait mm -hmm. in the bait cages while you're on the boat. You just want to get out there and put your nets in the water. So definitely recommend putting these in Ziploc bags and pre-packing your bait before you get out on the water. Yeah, I think that's a big mistake a lot of people do. They're right. trying to run the boat, get to spot, and then they get to spot and they're not ready to right. go. Right, and rig everything everything should be rigged out before you even get on the boat I think right. you always want to just get on the water and just go to the spot drop your nets and catch some lobster yeah the only thing we normally do when we get to a spot is stick in the light into the float right. and that's about it right and with it this is package you got yeah here. so Promar currently offers a um, hoop net pro kit which comes with everything that you'll basically need it comes with a light stick it comes with your float your hundred foot line and a bait cage yeah, so everything all in one, easy to put together and get out on the water. And what does that roughly retail for? So normally you'll see this between the $30 and $35 range, depending on who you shop with. Yeah, what store you go to. Right, and stuff. exactly. All right, cool. One last item I would suggest that you uh, pick up, and it's mandatory you have it with you, is a gauge. Right, absolutely. So one side is for the lobster, to so tell you what's legal for lobster. The other side is for a crab. Um, crabbing is legal year round, 12 months out of the year. Lobsters, you have the season. And for the lobsters, you have to have your lobster card and a California fishing license. For crabs, you only need to have a California fishing license. But uh, make sure you always have the gauges with you. And the crabs is just an extra bonus. Right. Sometimes you get a couple of really nice crabs yeah. and they taste really good too. Yeah, absolutely. Any other tips you can give our viewers? No, as far as uh, rigging your, your bait cages, Promar offers clips, so you can purchase these clips, and it makes it really easy to just snap and snap off your, uh, your bait cages in your hoop net. And what do you suggest for bait? 
Bait, I mean, every, everybody has their preference. Okay. There's mackerel, there's salmon heads. I've seen people put squid in it. It really depends on what you, what you feel most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. you, you, don't, you never want to tell someone to use something and then they come back and say, hey, I used that, I didn't catch anything. So definitely, whatever you feel more comfortable with, use it. And if people go to your website, can they get ideas on where to go fish? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, we offer all of our um, knowledge. Give us a call at our Promar office. Um, we also offer a lot of knowledge on Facebook and Instagram, and we do videos on YouTube as well. All right, cool. And what's your website address? Uh, www.promarnets.com. All right, cool. Well, thanks, Steve. Yeah, no problem, Dan. Thanks for having us. All right, that's today's um, video blog. Don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel, and we'll be talking to you again really soon. Thanks for watching.